CBS. And now, from the WCIA3 Storm Tracker Weather Center, this is your forecast first. Well, good evening. Most of the heavy rainfall has finally stopped here in central Illinois. Now, what we are still looking at are some moderate rain showers there in Paris, but the majority of it is now south of I-70. But there are still some flash flood warnings in effect from McCoupin, Montgomery, also Fayette County and Christian County. All of these will be in effect until 1 a.m. just due to the fact that we did have some flash flooding earlier, although most of those conditions should be subsiding here pretty soon as the rain has completely ended. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of time after the rain ends for that flash flooding to end. In Champaign, it's 69 degrees, 68 in Danville, 73 right now in Decatur, and 70 for Taylorville. So temperatures are finally starting to even out. Overnight, it looks like our rainfall chance is diminishing, so tomorrow should now be dry throughout the entirety of the day. Highs are going to hit 84 degrees. Coming up, though, what else is happening this weekend and how soon rain should be back? That is your forecast first. Now on WCIA 3 News. It's just unbelievable. Cancer patients are left in the cold. Why hot water isn't essential at this medical center. You don't expect that in a small town like this. You really don't. And a woman is sexually assaulted during her walk. How it's sending shockwaves through this small community. Plus, state workers may not take Governor Quinn to court over pay raises. We'll tell you what's changed. Karen, connected, committed. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. Provide the basics, that's all. This cancer patient says a Danville hospital is ignoring the essentials. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Dave is off tonight. The patient is undergoing treatment at Provena Covenant Medical Center, and he's boiling because there is no hot water there. WCIA 3's Ashley Sears has tonight's top story, so... Ashley, why is the hot water shut off? Jennifer, the cancer center is under construction and the hot water has been off for a month. One cancer patient says it makes his situation even more uncomfortable. That was the word. Jerry Hawker got some difficult news a few months ago. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Two and a half months of uh, five days a week treatment. He started that treatment at Provena United Samaritan Cancer Center. In the middle of it, construction started. When they started renovation a month ago, all the hot water in the building was shut off. You see, for Hawker, hot water <laughs> is an essential. There's many times you have to uh, cleanse yourself and things and there's no hot water. He went straight to the top and asked that it be turned back on. The hospital said there was nothing it could do. It's just unbelievable. So we went looking for answers. In no way have we uh, shortchanged or compromised their health, their well-being, or their safety. Hot water is not a state health requirement. So even though it's inconvenient to have, uh, not to have hot water, it by no means means that we're spreading disease. And the hospital says it's a sacrifice made in order to make the place better in the future. It's a growing pain. It's difficult. We're, we, we're not perfect. We'll always have some things that we'll need to improve on. Hawker hopes his voice is heard so that the pain of cancer is easier to bear. Provide the basics. That's all. Just provide the basics. Now, I'm told the hot water will be back on tomorrow morning. Renovations are supposed to be finished this October. Jennifer. All right. So, Ashley, doctors don't have to wash their hands with hot water? Uh, they only are required to have running water, soap, and friction. So even cold water, they say, does the trick. All right. Thank you, Ashley. Well, community donations are funding most of the million-dollar renovation. When it's over, there'll be more bathrooms, private areas for patients, and an educational center. And, of course, hot water. A Mattoon man will spend more than a decade behind bars. New tonight at 10, 30-year-old Jeffrey Bells was sentenced to 12 years for possession and distribution of child pornography today. He also got 20 years supervised release and must register as a sex offender. Police in Taylorville are hunting for an attacker. A woman was jumped and assaulted on her evening walk. Makes me feel horrified to know that Taylorville, that there are people like that. The sexual assault has a lot of people talking. They can't believe this could happen in their community. WCI3, Steve Steger live in our Springfield newsroom. And Steve, the scariest part is this woman was in what most people would call a safe place. Yeah, Jennifer, she was walking around the track at a local park around 9 o'clock at night. It was still somewhat light outside. 
and now it has everyone thinking twice about their surroundings. You don't expect that in a small town like this. You really don't. It's insane. When people hear the news, they're instantly shocked. A 20-year-old woman was walking around the track at the Don Bragg Sports Complex Wednesday night. Around 9 o'clock, a man jumps out of the trees and confronts her. He sexually assaults the woman, then runs away. It's terrible. I feel really bad for her. I hope she's okay. The attacker is described as a white man in his 20s, about 5 foot 6 with semi-short blonde hair. He had small round plastic glasses and a high pitched voice. Police are still trying to track him down. You really don't know how to trust people. I mean, you think you're just going to go out for a nice exercise or a walk and then all of a sudden this happens. It does seem like a very safe community. I mean, my kid goes to school here and we all do things we need around here, so it's kind of scary. This attack, a sad reminder that crime can happen anywhere. If it's going to happen at a park when you're walking, I mean, what's going to, what's, who's to say it's not going to happen somewhere else here in town? And you can never be too cautious. I'll definitely be carrying something with me, <laughs> like a flashlight or even mace, I guess. Some more information about that attacker now. We're told that he was wearing a dark colored t-shirt and cargo shorts, and if you have any information, you're asked to call Christian County Crime Stoppers, the number right there on your screen. Jennifer. All right, thank you, Steve. And it may seem like common sense, but police say you should always keep a few things in mind when walking around at night. Stay in a well-lit area. Try to walk with a friend. Bring a cell phone with you to call for help. And if you ever feel unsafe or notice someone suspicious, try to get to a nearby home or business right away. Moving to Sangamon County now, where police need your help finding the driver of a hit and run. In Crime Watch, that person hit a deputy during a call. It happened June 23rd, just east of Springfield. It was on Mechanicsburg and Cravens Roads. The deputy just finished a traffic stop. He was heading back to the car when another vehicle hit him. The driver took off. The deputy was thrown into the air. There was no color of the car given. Uh, we don't believe that the deputy saw, you know, who the suspect was. We have no information on this. The deputy is still recovering from injuries he sustained in this accident. Police believe the driver they're looking for lives near that area, Mechanicsburg Road. If you have any information, again, call Crime Stoppers this time, 788-8427. A suspect in a shooting and robbery in Champaign is now facing murder charges. It's a WCIA3 update. 41-year-old Cedric Mallett died this afternoon. Police say this man, 20-year-old Darian Jenkins, shot him during a robbery. Happened Tuesday in the 1100 block of Dorsey Drive. Police say Jenkins asked for cash, then shot the victim in the back. Two Chicago women are accused of stealing thousands, thousands of your tax dollars. Prosecutors say the women secured more than a million dollars in grants from the state. Those grants were supposed to help Chicago area schools. But prosecutors say more than half a million dollars was used to pay personal bills, like a mortgage and credit cards. State workers are trying to settle a dispute with the governor outside of court. It's WCIA3 update now on this. Ask me is bringing in an arbitrator to settle a dispute over pay raises. 30,000 workers were contracted to get a 2% raise starting this week. But the governor said there wasn't enough money in the budget and told directors not to issue them. Both the state and union have to file legal briefs by July 16th. People around the whole state have taken advantage of a new civil union law. The group Equality Illinois reports more than 16,000 couples entered into civil unions during the first month of the law. 83 of Illinois' 102 counties issued at least one license. The numbers don't include couples with licenses from other states that will now be recognized in Illinois. A national retailer is closing shop. Why? The company says it's not worth staying open. Plus, a summer camp is helping kids stay ahead of the class. We're going to show you how counselors are keeping assignments fun. And later, find out what extra baggage a woman picked up from jail. Live from WCIA 3 News, caring, connected, committed. Jennifer Roscoe, Dave Benton, weather with meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark, and Aaron Bennett with sports. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 10. Menards is proud to sponsor this portion of WCIA 3 News. Save big money during the Menard Day Sale. Scott's Turf Builder Seeding Soil is the first step in the seeding process, designed to promote seed germination. Turf Builder Grass Seed absorbs and releases water to keep the seed moist. Buy Sun and Shade Mix at 844 and receive seeding soil free. 
Give your wood, metal, wicker, and more a fresh coat of paint with Painter's Touch Ultra Cover 2X Spray Paint with twice the coverage per can and over 60 colors, only $277 each. Save big money at Menards. This July, the classic Subway Italian BMT is the next featured $5 footlong of the month. With chicken Genoa salami, spice tacular pepperoni, black forest ham, and melty cheese. It joins our $5 footlongs in July only. Subway, eat fresh. It has an HD webcam for flattering video chats, awesome audio, and lids that switch to match your mood. But mostly, it helps me keep an eye on my boyfriend, even though he doesn't know he's my boyfriend. Yet. Get the Inspiron 15R today. Powered by the second-gen Intel Core processor family. Not just smart, visibly smart. Order yours now at Dell.com. Hickory River has regularly been chosen as the best barbecue all over Central Illinois for years. By popular demand, there is now a fifth Central Illinois location with the latest opening in White Oaks Plaza in Springfield, open for dine-in and drive through Featuring their famous pulled pork sandwiches, mouth-watering baby back ribs, huge portions of beef brisket, and low-fat turkey breast, everyone loves Hickory River. Stop by a Hickory River today for your favorite real Texas barbecue by the pound platter or sandwich. Hickory River Smokehouse, real Texas barbecue. Closed captioning brought to you by Gift of Hope Organ and Tissue Donor Network. Register to be a life-saving donor at giftofhope.org. The world's first and second largest single-day sporting events aren't in Monaco or Pamplona. They're held at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, now celebrating its 100-year anniversary at a century-old track you can tour year-round. Visit Indy. There's one last series before the break, and the Southsiders are looking for payback. Say! Canerco and the Sox host Mauer in Minnesota. Friday night at 7 on WCFN 49. Now's your chance to win cash with your O'Brien Auto Park WCIA Free Viewers Club card. Tonight's lucky number is 021993. If this is your Viewers Club number, call during business hours tomorrow to claim your prize. Brought to you by Draperies and Interiors by Design. Windows with your budget in mind. Karen, connected, committed. WCIA 3 News continues now. Changes could be coming down the road to public transportation. In dollar signs tonight, Washington lawmakers are looking to slash billions. That is, people worried about roads and public transportation in central Illinois. The House is considering a bill that would cut funding by a third. That could put thousands out of work and jeopardize road funding. People who rely on bus service want to know how they're going to get around town if it happens. If they cut the funding for the bus route, you know, it will be hard. I have to walk everywhere I go and ride a bike. Primarily from the federal government, we receive capital funds, which helps us buy buses and bus shelters and things like that. Now, the Senate disagrees. Lawmakers have proposed keeping funding where it is. The current transportation bill expires on September 30th. A big box chain store is closing. Two stores in the capital city. Shopco has given its two Springfield-based stores 90 days notice. They've been open for nearly 15 years. The company says there's just too much competition in the area to warrant staying open. It's a problem that's forced a number of major retailers to leave over the years. Springfield's overbuilt. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, just about half a mile down the road is a, a what has been a Walmart store that's now going to be a Walmart superstore. Shopco is closing nearly 150 of its stores across the country and across central Illinois. Some lawns opened up and said, ah. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> Champagne only got a trace no, amount of rainfall. I was hoping. My yard was going, ah. Give me more Little sprinkles. That's it. I know it wasn't as much to the north, but down to the south, we had some flash flooding concerns. Now, what we're looking at, though, first of all, storm damage from tonight. This is from Potomac. Janie Rogers sent this in. Notice the car is still in good shape, the tree <laughs> but the so tree much. got a little mangled from a lightning strike. Right now, though, things are starting to calm down a little bit more. Springfield, it's mostly cloudy at 70 degrees, and the wind is back to being calm. Up next, rainfall totals and what we are still expecting overnight. Half price golf deals are always available with par for pennies on IllinoisHomePage.net. Tonight, Dave's got Jim Carrey, and anything can happen. I'm unpredictable. 
Then, from Transformers, Rosie Huntington White League. And a top ten with the Dallas Mavericks tonight. Half-price golf deals are always available with par for pennies on IllinoisHomePage.net. Take the red approach with your education at Lincoln Christian University. Lincoln Christian University has the only fully accredited seminary in central Illinois. The university's Hargrove School of Adult and Graduate Studies offers a variety of programs that can be completed in 30 months or less. LCU has a flexible class schedule with many courses available online. Whether you're in your 20s or in your 70s or somewhere in between, LCU has a program that's right for you. For more information about a quality Christian education, contact Lincoln Christian University. Hi, I'm Julie at Stalls Furniture in Mount Pulaski, and I want to take you on a tour. Looking for something to chill out on? Or maybe a special environment to entertain in? Or a place for a long afternoon nap? There's item after item after item at Stalls Furniture in Mount Pulaski, located in what I call the Golden Triangle, surrounded by Springfield, Decatur, and Bloomington. They drove down from Chicago. They're looking for gold. Stalls Furniture in Mount Pulaski. Hi, I'm Steve with Rebath. Why do people remodel their bathrooms today? It's about lifestyle changes. As the kids grow up and move out and as safety becomes a bigger priority, many convert their tub to a shower. For these helpful tips and more, be sure to click on the In the Know section of IllinoisHomePage.net. Illinois homepage.net. Vermilion Chevrolet Buick GMC is proud to sponsor Storm Tracker Weather. And now, meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark with Storm Tracker Weather. Welcome back. Heavy rain made for a soaking wet evening in Taylorville. Water covered a good portion of Route 29 in town, making it difficult to drive anywhere. But check out this Dairy Queen coming up. It had to have been sitting in the worst spot in town. You can see water completely took over the parking lot. No dilly bars there tonight. Four and a half inches of rain actually fell in Taylorville alone. And that is definitely our highest spot for rainfall tonight. Now rainfall is starting to diminish. We're only seeing some light showers left in Edgar County, still stretching back toward the Paris area. Other than that, it's further south in Jasper and also Crawford County, though not so much on the flooding side. But still currently, there are those flash flood warnings for McCoupin, Montgomery, Fayette, and Christian County until 1 a.m. It does, though, look like some of the main flooding concerns have obviously subsided. Rainfall amounts. 0.46 in Springfield, although radar's estimating a little bit closer to an inch there across a good portion of the county. But Taylorville, four and a half inches of rain. Danville only got 0.35, but in Potomac, radar is actually estimating between three and, and three and four inches of rainfall in just that town. Same thing near Bismarck, closer to about two or three inches. So there were definitely some good thunderstorms out there, just not a lot of them moving right over one of our recording stations. Temperatures tonight, obviously cooler, 69 in Champaign-Urbana. Danville's at 68 along with Paris. It's 71 in the capital city. Same thing tonight in Decatur. The dew point has actually fallen a little bit. I mean, keep in mind, we took a lot of the moisture out of the atmosphere because of these showers and storms earlier on this evening, and the wind is now back to the light side. Winds did pick up as the storms moved into town, but then now they are starting to shift a little bit and also lighten up. But here's the rain that developed, and it was a very slow moving system at times. Whenever this storm first started, only moving eastbound about 10 miles per hour. It finally started to pick up a little bit more speed and that has actually helped it get a little bit further through our viewing area and that's actually going to take down our chance for rainfall later on tonight. If you're north of I-72, your chance for rainfall is more or less done. Only an isolated chance remains for the rest of the night. Even south of Route 36, I mean, there's a chance of some of this rain reforming, but not in the magnitude that we had for this evening. It looks like our main focus is just moving on out of here as the boundary is actually shifting just a little bit more to the south. Tomorrow, cloud cover is going to decrease. We're going to get back mostly sunny conditions as this boundary is just down near the southern tip of the state and it allows high pressure to come back, which means more sunshine. The winds will still be light. Temperature, though, is going to start to tick back up. This high pressure ridge is still in control throughout the day on Saturday, making sure that we continue to have a nice dry forecast. And tonight, it looks like a lot of the rain is just ending, especially for Champaign-Urbana, Danville, Decatur, and Springfield. Low will fall to 64, and winds are still expected to be coming in lightly from the northeast. As you saw, though, earlier, they're kind of on the variable side at this point, but eventually they'll become more, you know, from one direction. 
morning. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 82 degrees. The wind will be in from the northeast at only 5 to 10 miles per hour, so not another windy day, that's for sure. Effingham, Matthew, and Charleston, Shelbyville, Casey, and Paris tonight. Low of 66. Storms coming to an end and in just mostly cloudy conditions. Tomorrow the cloud cover continues to decrease. We'll see partly cloudy skies and a high of 85 degrees, which is pretty much normal around this time of year. And yes, it's still going to be humid out there. We're not getting away from that yet. Tomorrow also marks our town Lincoln will be live at 5 and 6 and the weather is in our favor, which is fantastic. Join us. That's your invitation. The weather has no excuse to not come out on Friday. Saturday will be mostly sunny. It isn't until Monday, Jennifer, that we start to see our next best chance for rain sneaking back in. Yeah, you know, it's always more fun for us if there's more people out there. It's a good time, exactly. we promise. And as you guys mentioned earlier, food, Food, oh, fun, <laughs> folks, we got it exactly. all. Exactly. All right, thanks, Jennifer. Well, this is fun. Dozens of kids spending their classroom summer in the classroom. Why is that fun? Well, we're going to show you. And a former Illini might play next season overseas. Williams lets it fly. Ah! But why would he leave his NBA team to do it? We'll tell you. One last series before the break, and the Southsiders are looking for payback. Say! Canerco and the Sox host Mauer in Minnesota. Friday night at 7 on WCFN 49. The sparks are flying at Slumberland's 4th of July sale. Get an extra $100 off your purchase of $4.99 or more. This sleek sofa is just $3.99 in three colors. Looking for a sale to light your fire? Slumberland's 4th of July sale is your match. Hi folks, Dave Warga, general manager of Vermillion County's largest GM dealership. Looking for a great price on a great car? Vermillion Chevy Buick GMC is the place for you. Terrific service, casual, no pressure atmosphere. Our sales personnel are very knowledgeable. We have terrific prices. It never keeps us from making a deal. So if you're ready for the best selection and the best prices in the area, head to Vermillion Chevy Buick GMC, just off I-74 in Tilt, or visit us 24-7 at vermillionchevy.com. Let's face it, when has delivery pizza ever delivered? And yet they're screaming one large for this, two mediums for that. But what do you think happens to their quality? At Papa Murphy's, you get a great tasting pizza with tons of fresh toppings at a low price, which means lower prices never lower standards. Now enjoy new lower prices with a meat, pepperoni, or veggie thin crust delight pizza for only seven bucks. Papa Murphy's, join the take and bake revolution. My busy family, the family with thousands of odors, like Boomer, our boxer, our leftovers from last night. And then there's Phil, oh Phil. But for every odor, our new Airwick Odor Detect uses the latest smart odor sensor technology. The first air freshener that detects thousands of odors then automatically releases a burst of freshness that can keep up with this family and yours. The sparks are flying at Slumberland's 4th of July sale. Get an extra $100 off your purchase of $4.99 or more. Get a Simmons Beauty Sleep Queen set for just $2.99. Looking for a sale to light your fire? Slumberland's 4th of July sale is your match. Now, WCIA 3 News. Karen, connected, committed. Decatur schools in the Park District are making sure kids don't get a break from learning this summer. It's tonight's good news. Why is it good news? Well, for kids, it's a summer camp. The children spend half the day in a classroom learning different subjects like art, math, and science. The second part is spent around the community doing fun activities outside and doing things like going to the Children's Museum and the zoo. The big thing is they enjoy having fun and learning at the same time, and that's a, a different concept to them. They're using their entire bodies and their, you know, their entire mind. 800 children are taking part in the program, and leaders hope to get more kids involved next year. All right, we've got golf. Lots you know, I'm of watch, golf. I'm watching your video thinking, can I somehow absorb some of their Soak greatness? it all in, yes. right? Get all the tips you can, huh? Yeah, yeah a uh, big uh, weekend for Illini fans, the John Deere Classic. We've got a report from the Classic. Coming up next, we'll let you know which Illini are in the hunt after the first round. Next. Green, but an uphill pop for a birdie. Yeah. No problem. Green. Eastland Suites Hotel and Conference Center is proud to sponsor this portion of WCIA3 News. 
So where's the best place to be this summer? I'm going to say leading the way with Ford. It's only the best-selling brand in America. Get behind the wheel of a Ford Escape with quality that can't be beat by Toyota. Escape offers 28 miles per gallon on the highway and hands-free sync technology. So when's the best time to get a great deal? Well, that's easy, too. Right now. Now, during the Ford Best Place to Be sales event, get an Escape with 0% financing plus $500 cash back. The Ford Best Place to Be sales event. It's a great place to be. Casey's, it's all good. Much more to choose from. Quench your thirst for summertime fun at Casey's General Stores. Pick up any three 32-ounce Gatorades for only $4. Tame your hunger with one of our homemade-to-go large pepperoni pizzas for only $10. And stop into any Casey's and register to win free gas for a year along with other great giveaways. It's all good. You're invited to WCIA 3's Concerts in the Park. Sunday, July 17th, enjoy show tunes with Decatur Park singers from 6 until 8 p.m. Join Champaign Park District at Hessel Park for WCIA 3's Concerts in the Park. Half-price golf deals are always available with par for pennies on IllinoisHomePage.net. And now, sports with Aaron Bennett on WCIA 3. Round one of the John Deere Classic is in the books, and four former Illini are there, including Steve Stricker, who's trying to win his third straight John Deere Classic championship. And Stricker went right to work today. He started on the back nine. Here he is on number eight, a long putt for birdie, and Stricker sinks it to move to four under par, and he wasn't done, finishing his round on number nine. The approach here is really good. From out of the rough, Stricker knows this course better than anybody. He rolls this one in nice and close. He would birdie that as well. Stricker finishes his first round at five under par. He and D.A. Points both shoot 66 today. They are in the hunt. Illinois golf coach Mike Small is hanging around there. He's at two over par. Scott Langley is at five over after as the uh, round has finished. But Stricker and Points both looking good. WCIA 3's Matt Wetterston has more from the Quad Cities. Here's opening round 60, but this brilliant approach on Steve Stricker's final hole leads to a short birdie and a first round 566. Five under any time, any course, no matter where you're at, is a good start. And, uh, you know, I won't be too far from the lead. And, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a marathon. It's, it's four days. One group behind him and also at five under is D.A. Points. The former Illini is paired with U.S. Ryder Cup captain Davis Love the third today. I started out not hitting it great and then started hitting it a little bit better as uh, the day went on. And uh, putted good all day. And, you know, just a solid opening round. Watched Davis play really well, so that helped as well. From St. Louis, Missouri, Scott Langley. Yeah. It was a struggle for former NCAA champ Scott Langley. While head coach Mike Small struggled too, he's at two over and has some work to do to make the cut. This is the way I've been playing. So, I mean, tomorrow I can shoot 65, I can shoot 75. You know? I just want to play good golf. You know, I just want to play good, solid golf. I mean, last hole I have 160 yards in from the middle of fairway and hit it 40 yards right of the pin, you know. What are you going to do? That's just something that's just, it's just poor. It's a bit of a home course advantage for the former Illini, and they'll have even more supporters tomorrow for official Illini Day here at TPC Deer Run. In the Quad Cities, Matt Wetterston, WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks a lot, Matt. Chicago White Sox first baseman Paul Canerco has won the American League All-Star Final Vote Contest. Canerco will head to his fifth career All-Star game thanks to 8.4 million fan votes. Major League Baseball tonight, the Cubs visiting the Nationals and a terrible start for the Cubs. Rick Ankiel rips a double off the wall and right. The Nats go up 8 nothing, heading into the six, but would you believe the Cubs come all the way back? It's tied at nine, top of the ninth with two outs. Darwin Barney brings home the game winner. The Cubs erase an eight run deficit. It's the largest lead the Nationals franchise has ever squandered. The Cubs get a big win 10 to nine. Elsewhere, the Cards and Diamondbacks are in a rain delay in the sixth inning. Arizona up one nothing and the Sox lose at home to the Twins six to two. The NCAA has denied Eastern Illinois guard Tyler Lazer's appeal for a fifth year of eligibility. The all conference guard played 10 games last year before needing season ending surgery. Those 10 games are one more than the NCAA allows for a player to be eligible for an extra season. The Illinois women's basketball team got a commitment from Iowa City guard Mackenzie Piper. Piper is a six foot two guard who expects to play the two or even point guard at Illinois. She can play big, block shots and shoot the ball. And she says joining the Illini was a no brainer. 
I kind of based my whole recruiting process on my relationship with the coaches and my relationship with the players. And I fell in love with Illinois when I went there. I'm really excited. Jolette Law is like such a great coach. She's one of those coaches that you really want to work hard for. And she runs a really good program. Piper chose Illinois over Missouri, Nebraska, and Bradley, among others. Well, former Illini Darren Williams says he plans to play in Turkey this fall if the NBA lockout doesn't get resolved. Williams' agent confirmed the New Jersey Nets guard will play for the club team Besiktas this fall. Yahoo Sports reporting that his contract would pay him $200,000 a month. So, and get a driver, hey, a bodyguard. Everything. If you can get that offer, why not? Throw in a cook. Sounds pretty I'll good. I'll trade him trade of spots. All right. Like fun. Thanks, Aaron. Well, one wife had some interesting baggage to claim. Wait until you see what she packed. Menards is proud to sponsor this portion of WCIA 3 News. You're watching TV. That part is obvious. But how much are you paying for it? Because if it's more than $24.99 a month, then you must call Dish Network now. Get Dish Platinum for three months. Choose HBO, Cinemax, or Stars free for three months. And get a $50 Visa gift card at sign up. Free access to 100,000 movies from Blockbuster for three months. Why would you pay more for fewer channels? Get Dish Network now for only $24.99 a month. 1-888-882-DISH. And get a $50 Visa gift card at sign up. It has an HD webcam for flattering video chats, awesome audio, and lids that switch to match your mood. But mostly, it helps me keep an eye on my boyfriend, even though he doesn't know he's my boyfriend. Yet. Get this Inspiron 15R today. Powered by the second gen Intel Core processor family. Not just smart, visibly smart. Order yours now at Dell.com. This July, the Subway Italian BMT is the next featured $5 foot long of the month. Piled high with kicking Genoa salami, spice tacular pepperoni, tender black forest ham, and bubbly melty cheese. On flatbread or your favorite freshly baked bread, it's the biggest, meatiest, tastiest addition to our many $5 foot long favorites in July only. So hurry in to try the one of a kind Italian BMT featured $5 foot long of July. Subway, eat fresh. You enjoy eating out, right? You like to save, so why not get half off some of our area's best restaurants? Frugal Fridays at IllinoisHomePage.net. Friday morning, July 8th at 11, we open our online store featuring these fine area restaurants. Get $50 gift certificates for $25. You'll want to be ready because when the Frugal Friday certificates are gone, they're gone. Friday morning, 11 at IllinoisHomePage.net. Join us for details on a street fest in downtown Champaign. And we answer the question, where's the beef in the three-minute group? IllinoisHomePage.net has great deals to some of our area's best golf courses with half-off gift certificates. That's right, 50% off. The featured golf courses for Tuesday, July 12th are Meadowview Golf Course in Mattoon and Eagle Ridge Golf Course in Paris. Log on to IllinoisHomePage.net, click Par for Pennies, and buy your half-off gift certificate. 50% off with Par for Pennies at IllinoisHomePage.net. Finally tonight, a woman in Mexico was arrested for trying to sneak her husband out of jail. She tried to do it in a suitcase. After a conjugal visit, police noticed her looking nervous. They also saw her bulky suitcase, and yes, they found him inside. He was immediately returned to his cell, and she is facing multiple charges. I love that he's trying to hide his face. I'm guessing visits are going to cease. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she, I don't Someone think. Someone will have to visit she's her She's gonna be now. in this jail yeah. cell, yeah. and why they let her bring a suitcase to jail, we don't know. All right, that'll do it for us. David Letterman is next. We'll see you tomorrow. Our Town Lincoln, live at five at six. Much fun. Hey Tom, can you send me that month end report? Sure, I can do that.